before you. In this uh, tutorial, we will discuss how to fetch the data using the PHP program. Again, there are different versions how to fetch it, but again, here, uh, we'll be using a simple uh, program, just a simulation how to fetch the data, and we'll be using the string, and of course, and the array. So the purpose of this is to uh, get the data from your uh, file. It uh, Maybe it is a text file or a SQL database or a SQL uh, table. All right. So that's the purpose of this discussion. I would like to shout out Mr. Uh, Madawi, who uh, will, of course, we have this short collaboration. And at the same time, well, um, asking about how to fetch the data. And I want to uh, explain it in a lighter manner so that you can understand it. You can perceive how uh, the program works. Okay. So I'm using here the PHP. I don't want to open anymore the Apache or any SQL. But again, I'm just, I will just use the array here, array, uh, to, uh, to fetch the data. And at the same time, we'll be using the implode and, of course, the explode. So the purpose of the implode is just like, you know, uh, converting, um, you convert the, convert, you convert, sorry, convert the array to a string. And at the same time, explode is like, you know, fetching all the string and display it as an array. So that's the purpose of this discussion. All right, so let us roll. Like for example, of course we have here the program PHP. Okay, again, I just want to reiterate that I will use uh, the online uh, PHP compiler to run this program. I don't have the Apache or some installed in my root folder. Okay, for the sake of discussion, I'm just using the sublime editor so that you can perceive what I'm trying to discuss right now. So how to declare the variable? Okay, let us first declare the variable. For example, this is your variable. At the same time, we have already this uh, result coming from your data. Okay, like for example, we have here our node. This is where we fetch the data from your SQL. And right after that, we convert this as what? As a static data as part of your uh, array. Well, of course, array is immutable, but again, <coughs> the result is is also uh, uh, updated once you uh, inject some uh, data inside the container of your array. Okay, <clears throat> so here we go. I have here Arnold. At the same time, say we have here Robert, and we have here Ariel. So I have three strings right now, and of course, this result is just like a simulation where we assume that this is not part of your uh, part of your SQL. Uh, data okay converted to our output to output to a file output to a output sorry class output to a text to text file all right so that's it now we will convert this no? and we need to put this part of our array part of the array so the purpose of this is like, for example later on if you infuse your JavaScript as a program and put this in your JavaScript will of course you can use this uh, result and put that in your array but now we need to use the PHP so how to do that we are here again of course to show an example of the data that was uh, well of course uh, fetched to your SQL data okay this is the result so these are the values we are assuming that you have here the SQL data uh, well this is just like providing the real algorithm and uh, the, the, the real actual codes morph as a codes okay so, if you want to convert this as an array, it's very simple. We use the variable again. So, let's say we have data 1. This is the variable, all right? And what up, And then after that, what will happen? We will be using the explode. So, what's the purpose of explode? This is equivalent to split split command, okay? So, the purpose of split is to, you know, split it using space or any character, okay? So, we have to use the split comma. And then, we'll of course, we put here a string result. Okay, that's it. So the result is just like a string, and then we need to convert this as an array. How to do that? We are not allowed to use the echo. What will happen if you use the echo command? So there is a problem with that. Let us check what will happen. Okay, so there it goes. We need to copy this. Okay, we go to the next program, the next, uh, what you call this? Uh, the next uh, screen. Okay, this is the screen right now. So what if we uh, paste it here and then we run the program? What will happen? Let us run the program. 
and uh, after that let's wait for the compiler so we have here the undefined variable string data one explode result exclude data. oh this is the error okay we need to run the program again of course so r string to conversion home so this is an error what happened why because this is not allowed okay let's go back right here so therefore echo cannot produce this this, this, result, this result okay we need to use the print array command so what is the purpose of that to print the array and of course it's offset and it's value so we have to use the print r command all right so let's go right here and we need to copy this and then go right here in our browser okay so let us check here the print r command okay when we run the program of course we can see that we have here arnold robert and ariel so this is now the offset of your array zero and then we have arnold robert and this is now static uh, uh, data wherein it, uh, it it is uh, converted to an array data so if you have your javascript automatically well of course you can read this at the same time store this also in the array and of course convert this as a json json to data or text file okay that's the purpose of this code now if we convert this array to a string okay so this is now the array what if we convert to a string it's very simple so the reverse of explode is implode plus the purpose of implode is just like you fetch the data at the same time convert that string convert that array into a string so we have here the next code okay let's say we print here of course this is to convert the array in uh, as string okay now for example we have another uh, array right here array this is the variable okay so don't forget to use the preserve word of array so we have here the array let us use only the single array uh, the, 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 the the planes uh, array class and if you want to review uh, the array uh, topics well you can check my playlist in my youtube channel so we have here the array for example array let's say arnold okay this is a string array we have robert and we have here ariel okay as you can see we are using the double quotation because this is a string okay this is the string now we have the container of array right here and of course we know that array is mutable meaning to say you can change the value inside the array but once you display that it will be statically uh, part of uh, the data because well of course you can change it unless otherwise you update the array you update array by means of what of the php array methods you can use the array that push okay you can remove that by using the pop or remove the array okay this is how you do it let us convert this array to a string so instead of using the implode we can use the explode okay, for example we have string data to okay let us change the variable to avoid any conflict implode and then let us use the comma right here of course implode and then we have here string what and then we bring down the uh, array one okay and then let us use the echo well of course you can use the echo right now you can use the print command they are the same okay so we can use string data two all okay. right let us check that and of course let us copy this program and paste it right here in our code so this is this will serve as our compiler i don't have any uh i don't have any uh what you call this uh, apache server in my local server in my uh, root folder so i'm using the online uh, php compiler okay so i will copy this okay and put here in another page okay there you are there you are so as you can see we have the following uh, string array one this array will hold this uh, value arnold robert and Ariel, and we need to convert this array as a string while the explode is to print all the array and its offset okay this is the example for that so zero is the offset of the first container you can create offset one so offset two offset three offset four so that's it now we're doing another program let us check and debug code okay syntax error expected array t variable from line one let us check that so what is the problem here in line uh, one okay so we have arnold robert ariel okay string data to implode string array one let us check this and then make this as a comment this is the technique of debugging the program and let us print array one okay now let us run that okay array one uh syntax error array one of oh, we don't have 
here first. Okay, let us check that. I think this is the error. We forgot to put the terminator at the top. So this is this is to convert the array to a string. Okay, array to string conversion. Okay, so we have first Ariel. That's first one, and we need to convert this using the explode, the implode, the 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 implode rather string. Of course, we need to use this string data too. The purpose of this is, of course, to create space for that, and for every uh, value, it will create space for, 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 uh, for this. Okay, so we need to put here the echo, and then string data to let us check if the code is correct, and then we need to fix this if there are some glitches. So let us run it again. So we have here, this is to convert the array as string. So we have Arnold, Robert, and Ariel. So this is now part of the string. So the second part is to convert this array as a string. And we converted this as a string using the implode. So the first part was to convert the string as an array. Okay, so that's how you do it. All right, now, it's very easy. It's very simple. The algorithm is just like, like for example, in your PHP, well, of course, you need only to, uh, if you have the table there, you need to use the table and, of course, create a query for that and use the select command and, of course, from uh, table 1. And then you, uh, there is what you call the, 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 the syntax to output it as what a text file. Okay, so that's how you do it. And after that, well, of course, you fetch this data. The first of all, string asterisk as. And then you put that asterisk, what, as, what, string result. So this result now will be part of your mirror file or alias file so that you can read it right here. And once you got that, well, of course, it's just like you are creating a program, simulating how to display the data as what as a JavaScript uh, output. So this is the output for that. Now, um, well, array is about, you know, storing different types of information. You can use numbers, you can use the strings and other things. So, if you want to review uh, more on arrays, well, of course, you can check my previous tutorial in my channel. Okay, please don't forget to like and uh, share and subscribe in this channel. Thank you so much for watching.